original PX125. And now, come on, mates, look at the Vespa T5. Gosket, that is humongous to these tiny ports here. 9 horsepower, 12 horsepower, cast iron, aluminium cylinder. Wow! 3 horsepower more, 10 more top speed. Can only be a very good engine, can it? So is the Vespa T5 a good engine or not? Is it worth triple the price of the PX125 engine? The T5 engine. Is it or is it not? Let me tell you a few things about that. Cheers. The big problem with T5 engines is that you do not get any tuning parts. And before that it starts already. The engine is humongously overpriced. It is so fucking expensive. You pay more for the engine. Tiny selection of tuning parts. And they also cost, of course, way more than standard PX tuning parts. Worst of all, with these tuning parts, you can only generate power which is lower than standard PX tuning. Why in the end would you buy a T5 engine? Let's go to the parts which are different. Cylinder, crankshaft, carburetor, cylinder head, exhaust. In the end, all the main tuning parts are different than PX. How many T5 Vespas have been sold? Way less than PX. This means the selection of tuning parts you can choose from is way smaller. Kind of, PX is like that. You have around 40 cylinder kits and the T5 it's like this. You have two or three cylinder kits you can choose from. Cylinders, what do we have? Original Malossi 172 from the 80s, Pinasco 162, Polini 152, that is it. So we have in the end one, two, three cylinder kits. 40 for pigs versus three. Crankshafts, MCR, Pinasco, the third one, I forgot, whatever. Let's just also say one, two, three. Cylinder head is a problem. The originals, they are really rare, so you have to buy also a special one. Is what about the exhaust? That's a standard PX. So all the PX do not fit on the T5 engine. Yes, there is a adapter available now from BGM. I'm gonna try it. Let's see how that works. Differences to PX engines that the transfer ports are way wider. Yes, absolutely. Question is, can limited rotary valve feed these big ports? I mean, you know, rotary is very limited. Opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. Is there enough gas coming that this cylinder can work properly? Power-wise, what can you generate? Modern box exhaust and tuning cylinders. So for PX it's 177cc and for T5 it's 172cc. With plug-and-play tuning, a good 177 cylinder, you can get 13, 14 horsepower nowadays. Exactly the same with the T5 engine. So, is it worth it? You do not have more power with the T5 engine. You get exactly the same power. Not only one T5 engine owner was a bit surprised when he went on a dyno and he saw that he does not have more power than the PX engine. What people always forget is that you see these big ports, wow! I mean, come on, look at that. That must be a modern racing cylinder. Oh my god! And it's so expensive. Expensive can only be good. And intake is wider. What people totally forget that if you do not extend the intake timings, it still remains just a plug and play tuning. You need a race crank, you need to extend the intake timings for proper power. And there is a huge selection of PX crankshafts available. There is kind of nothing what you can choose from for the T5 engine. But just having big ports doesn't mean you have good power. You also have to take care of the intake timings. They have to be long for good power. Crankcase bolts, I mean that's the engine case, that's the crankcase where the crank sits. 
that are also longer. Intake, carb, casing, they fit better to each other. Humongous transfer ports. Bigger swing arm from the 200cc compared to the 125cc. Another difference is that the smaller engine half, stutter side bearing, is not the small needle bearing. It has the bigger rollers like the rally engines, which has the disadvantage that the meat outside gets really thin and often when you put a new bearing in it's knocked out so it pops out and you have to weld it cover is also the same clutch is the same px old seven spring gearbox is px so you can use it but it's a little bit shorter and the primary as well rear brake of course exactly the same bearing as well malossi 172 zz what about this cylinder? Surprising is that original state, it does not perfectly fit the case. Why is that? And timings are low. Exhaust port is tiny. Blowdown is tiny. Of course the power is limited. Also because intake of rotary is very limited. So it doesn't help if you make big ports. You also need the gas to feed them. And rotary is just very limited. What about the T5 engine case intake? Yes, as the crankshaft cheek is wider, the intake is wider, but is that the factor? No, it's not. What about the length of the rotary wealth? The earlier it opens, the more overlapping you can make. So that is the comparison between the intake timings and the cylinder timings. And what you see here is it may be a little bit wider, but it is short because you have PX engine cases where the intake, the rotary valve pad, goes till here. What about the small half? Stutter different, flywheel different. Everything is different with T5. How about transfer port width and PX177? It's not that much smaller, is it? Oh, but the crankshaft, there's another issue that the con rod, it misses um, some bores or slices at the bottom end bearing. Oh, so it is for sure that the original Piaggio crankshaft will just get stuck. It's not a cylinder sizing, it is just the bearing dies and you have to replace the crankshaft. T5 as a carburetor versus PX. T5. PX. Standard PX air filter. T5 air filter. What's the difference? The height. It's higher. So what does it mean? As the space is limited, carb casing cover. It means that. Ooh, why is that not yellow? It should be yellow, should it? This SI T5 carburetor is a little bit shorter. PX carburetor air filter. And T5 carburetor air filter. You see, total height is exactly the same. The PX carburetor is a little bit taller, and on the other hand, that is the T5 carburetor with a taller air filter. Do you need this carburetor because it is different? Because original is boring. No, you don't. Is it the best SI carburetor? Yes, it is because it is shorter. Is it a massive tuning factor? No, it's not. You don't need it. No prop. Just go with the standard PX SA24 carburetor and you're totally fine. A beast! Sorry. Bist du denn, was ist das, ein Beast jetzt?